oriented graph. This is oriented graph. What is oriented graph? A graph is called a oriented graph when all its nodes are named, all its branches are numbered, and arbitrary orientations are assigned to all its branches. So, if we draw a circuit like this, say this is a circuit, this is a circuit. This is a circuit and where we are denoting this at node A, this is node B, here we are taking another one node, this is node C, that means this is a node, this is a node, this is a node and this one is a node and this is a branch that is This is a branch, say this branch is numbered by number 1. This is another one branch, say this branch is numbered by 2. This is another one branch, this branch is numbered by 3. This is another one branch, say this is numbered by 4. And this one is the Large branch, say this is numbered by 5. And the orientation is given like this way. This, 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 this and like this. So, we are drawing an oriented graph based on this circuit. So, first we have to decide how many nodes are in this circuit. We have taken there are three nodes A, B and C. So, we are giving node, this is node A, this is node B, another one is node C, right? Now, we have to draw the branches. So, between node A and B, between node A and B, the branches is numbered by 3. So first draw this branch. This is branch. Branch 3. This is branch 3. Next we have to decide how many branches are connected between the node A and node C. Look here is node A and here is node C. Between node and node A and node C there are two branches. One is branch 2, another one is branch 1. So, we have to draw two branches between the node A and node C. So, now we are drawing two branches like this. So, one is branch 2, another one is branch 1. Next, we have to draw the branches between Node B and C. So, come in the circuit. Between node B and node C, there, is, there are also four bran two branches. One is number 4 and one is number 5. So, draw these two branches like, like this. Say, this is number 4 and this is number 5. Now, we have to give the orientation. So, for branch 1, the orientation is like this. For branch 2, the orientation is like this. This is the downwards orientation. For branch 3, the orientation is going to right side. That means like this. For branch 4, the orientation is the downwards orientation. 
like this and for branch 5 the orientation is also downwards orientation like this. So in this graph all the nodes, all the nodes are left. All the branches, these all are the numbered like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and all the branches are assigned the orientation what have given in our electrical circuit. So we can tell this is a oriented graph of this electrical circuit. Thank you.